I'm going to explain inverses in this video and we will also have a visual representation to try to help understand inverses. First, we're just gonna graph the relation that we're given in the table. So we're given five points, 0, 2, 1, 4, etc. So all I'm gonna do is put those on the graph and connect them. So that's what you would get. Next thing we're gonna do is graph the inverse. You get an inverse when your outputs become inputs and inputs become outputs. In other words, all you have to do is switch X and Y. So every X in that table becomes Y and every Y in that table becomes X. So all I've done is I've switched the rows. Instead of having 0, 2, I have 2, 0. Instead of having 1, 4, I have 4, 1. So when you have an inverse, you're just switching your X's and Y's. If we put it on the graph, this is what we would get. Now something to point out on the graph is whenever you have something with its inverse, they will always be symmetric across this line y equals x. So if you were to draw a diagonal through the graph, through the origin, you will have the same shape on either side of that line. The last thing we're going to talk about is domain and range. Remember domain is all of your x values while range is all of your y values. So looking at the blue part of the graph, the one that I graphed originally from the original table, my x values start at zero and they end at eight. You can see that in the table as well. It goes from zero to eight. So it's all x values from zero to eight. That would be the domain of the original. The range is all of your y's. So starting down here with a y value of two, that's the lowest y value. Working our way up, the highest y value would be 7, and you can see that in the table. So because I connected them, it's all x values from, or sorry, y values from 2 to 7. Now, I have already said that inverses mean you switch to x and y. If domain is x and range is y, that means all you have to do is switch them, and you have the domain and range of your inverse as well. So if you look at the green now, from 2 to 7, those are my x values. And you can see that that's just the range of the original. Your y values start at 0 and go up to 8. So the range is from 0 to 8. Notice that was the domain of the original. So all you have to do is switch them in order to have your domain and range for both. 